What's going on YouTube? I'm back out here on day two of my windy Wyoming adventures. You know, back home hunting for speed goats with my uh, 6.5 Grendel. So yesterday, you know, the animal counts are low. Uh, today they look like they're low, but they're in better spots. And so I'm gonna go check out, I think it's just a group of does, check it out real fast. And then there's two bucks laying down in a lower grazing field. And so those are the likely the ones you'll see today, but I'm gonna get my, uh, the gator unloaded so I can take the drive across down to where they are. And uh, we'll see what happens, so stand by, let's go. So the first spot I'm gonna go is I'm gonna get close to where these cows are. You know, that's a thousand, thousand yards away, but I'll swing the width of the long way of the property. And uh, in that area, we should see some goats. There's, uh, in fact, I think they're actually, there you go. Way to the left, there's one. So uh, we're gonna go check that out and uh, see what's up before I go for the quote unquote easier ones. So let's see. Oh, and if you can tell, look at that wind blowing. Again, it's blowing 20 some miles an hour out of the Northwest, so ballistics will be fun today. So that's just three does down there. I came around the far side. I'm not gonna spook them. So I just wanted to get an idea kind of like what I was swinging up at, so. Let's roll over to those bucks. That Dane grass is just flowing today. That's what's gonna make tough because I approach on those antelope that are laying down. I'm gonna have a pretty good crosswind, so that's probably at least a good four to six inches of lateral movement with that bullet. So the ballistics are gonna be fun today, I tell you what. Look at that grass roll. down, eh? I must have heart shot him, man. The way he went, just complete crazy. And the other one's still standing there. I wish my daughter was here right now. Jesus. All right, he's down, good, one shot, six, hey. I must have. I must have done the ballistics just right. I hit him, he went on a tear. I must have heart shot him. We'll find out when we get down there. Sorry, she went off camera when I blasted him. Uh, I'm super happy, man. I mean, I'll show you a video of how that wind's blowing. It's fierce out here today, so. Uh, he's a small buck. You know, there's not a lot of animals on the property this year, but my wife and my family, and my daughter, right? My daughter, my wife and I, we all like venison. That's what we eat for the year, so. Let's go check this animal out, man. He's, he's done, he's crumpled up. That other goat's just watching him like, what are you doing, man?
there's the other goat just standing there trying to figure out what the heck happened. That's the pressure's money, man. They have no idea. Yeah, there he goes. He's I ain't sticking around no more. Alright. Alright man, let's go get this goat. I'm gonna get my stuff. Guns unloaded. Head back to the gator. That stock pond, man. Use that berm. Was able to hide behind it. If I lasered it right, it was 156 yards. With this wind, I did 10 clicks to the left and uh, I think five clicks up, maybe six, just because these partitions shoot a little bit lower than the barns. Man, did he rear up. I still bet money I heart shot him the way he just. But I'm going to probably eat my words and sound like a fool here in video, so. I hope the wind noise ain't too bad here, man. But we're going to get on the other side of this fence. Yep, man, I use these trees there to block my view. And just use that berm there. All right, man. <laughs> I think I know what happened. Look at that, man. That partition, just absolutely. That's the, that's the far side of the shot. I had complete pass-through on that. There's all sorts of yummies. Let's get him rolled over and look. <coughs> look, man, I'm a realist, right? I know this isn't a trophy, right? But this is about my trip coming out here to get some meat. So I'm super happy that, you know, I wasn't chasing them. And man, that just, I'm a little scared to see the insides. He's got lung all around here. Uh, God, let me get my stuff out of the way. Well, good thing I got my antelope before it got too busy. Little, little passer buyers here. Look at that. <laughs> Hopefully they don't get all honoring and want to come over and check me out. Generally cattle are pretty good. Sometimes they'll get a little aggressive, but it's not bad. So what am I using today? Well, this is my 6.5 Grendel uh, Bear Creek Arsenal stainless steel 20 inch barrel. I built it on top of a Palmetto State Armory lower with some Magpul components. Uh, I've got a CMMC drop in trigger, straight trigger at three and a half pounds. What I really like about the Bear Creek Arsenal is that it's a side charger. So it's a lot like a bolt action. So if you're already set up and you need to charge, it's right there. Uh, I use a Vortex 4 to 16 scope. Uh, I think, shame on me. Oh yeah, it's 44. I forgot my 44, right? So for you know, I didn't want a 50 because if, if you know that it would be too heavy. But four to 16 by 44, and then uh, I use a, a Banish 30 suppressor. And you know, hopefully your state allows suppressors. Amazing, right? Like it just you don't have to have Ear Pro. I don't think you could have even heard that shot on a day like today. It was so darn windy. You know that animal, he just when he got hit and you know ran and he died right away because you know he lost part of his lung and his his heart. But um. The 6.5 Grendel has been an amazing choice. It's my third year of using this for deer and antelope. My daughter uses it as well too. No recoil, and it definitely packs a punch with the right bullets, right? So, you know, 
Today I used the, the Nosler 125 grain partitions. I don't think you can buy store-bought ammo like this, but if you reload, the partitions are a pretty good choice. So far I've taken out that large pig, and I can post a card at the end of the video for it, and now I've taken out the antelope with this. My daughter's going to be here in a week or two. She's going to use the Barnes TTSX, so hopefully she connects, and she gets the same results, or even better, and we'll be able to post a video as well, too. So, anyway, I appreciate you stopping by my channel. I hope you like what you've seen. If, you, if you've never subscribed, please consider doing so, right? That's how I get you know, the YouTube algorithms to show my stuff, and it incentivizes me to make more stuff. And I hope you've... Uh, you know, we're able to use some of what your footage today and you know make choices about what you're going to use if you're able to come out to Wyoming or another state and hunt antelope or deer or something like that. So anyway, appreciate you. See you around. Bye.